that's still good in Bloomington is the voice you hear at Assembly Hall, and he's been there a real long time. Simon Scott Assembly Hall has a new name and a fresh look this season, but the voice remains unchanged. Ladies and gentlemen, your Indiana Hoosiers! This is the 40th season for Chuck Crabb as public address announcer of IU basketball. Crabb's signature call as the Hoosiers take the court is the only time you hear a homer. Most PA guys today are what I would call hype men. <laughs> yeah, they you're, are. You're not a hype man. No, far from it. In the middle, he's a 6'10 sophomore from Rochester, New York. Number 31, Thomas Bryan. I'm a traditional announcer. Crab started in 1977 with a little more flair on the microphone. But after his animated announcing during a win over Notre Dame, Coach Bob Knight sent his top assistant to visit the 26-year-old PA man. Coach Knight had a message for you, and that is if you ever pull that four-letter word uh, stuff again, you've announced your last Indiana basketball game. Uh, Coach said you're pretty intelligent. Now, do you understand what I've just asked of you? When Chuck started at the microphone, he was also selling season tickets, a pair for just $100. That might get you into one game now, and Chuck still has the best seat in the house. Come on, who's going to stay in there? It's neat to know that I, I play a part that people appreciate what it is that I add to the game for them. Number four, Robert Johnson. While calling the action, Crab also keeps score, reads a 16-page script, and coordinates timeouts. Sometimes he forgets to turn off his mic, like in 2001 against Michigan State. I was drinking so stinking much water. It was hot in the building that day. I belched. <laughs> I, I, I actually, th that's my big faux pas. There's never been for me uh, an F-bomb or shucks or anything else, but there's been a belch. And uh, it happened. At 66, Crab still works at IU as assistant athletic director for facilities. He's been told the mic is his as long as he wants it. It's a great friendship that I have with a program and with the people that enjoy what it is that Indiana basketball represents. This is your arena announcer, Chuck Crabb, bidding you a pleasant good afternoon. Please drive safely going home, and we look forward to our next visit to an Indiana University athletics event. And in 40 years, you can imagine Chuck has a lot of stories to tell. Go to WTHR.com, and Chuck tells you the story about the time the cheerleaders got a technical foul. And, oh, yeah, that one time Bob Knight threw a chair. So that's at WTHR.com. Can you imagine if he wrote a book, just an unabridged book, the stories he could tell? Yeah. <laughs> Some of them about me because he hung out with me back in the early 80s. So <laughs> I don't want to really talk about it. All right. So Indiana Hoosiers, we've.